Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, it's RevZev once again. Uh, hope everyone is having a good start to the month of Kislev. And uh, maybe everyone is stuffed from food from yesterday. Uh, hopefully everyone's just happy. And if we're not happy, we're working on it. We're working through it, doing our best. I uh, wanted to share just a few thoughts for my uh, last video for this week because uh, today is Friday so we're furiously getting ready for Shabbat and it's just a f couple of hours away literally so for us here where we are it's a couple of hours away some of you have more time some of you have less but uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the power of change and believing in the power of change or believing that someone has changed. Uh, and we see this a little bit um, in the portion this week or the effects of love that doesn't believe things have changed or love that is dependent on uh, change. Uh, it's a real trap when we get stuck in the past or too worried about the future. But one of the real traps is when we get stuck in the past and um, we get emotionally stuck in the past. And our love for people gets trapped in the past. And then it makes it really hard to move on from that. And this is something that we really need to free ourselves from. Uh, we really need to believe that we can change and that other people can change and that they have changed. Because, you know, one of the things that you see in the portion this week is that, you know, it says that um, Itzhak loved, he loved Esau. And it says that, uh, that uh, Rebekah loves Jacob. Uh, interesting thing, isn't it? One, the father loves one son, loved him, loved him in the past. And the mother loves another son. Currently, the love is current. It's not past. And in the Hebrew, this is also true. You can see it. If I was more of a Hebrew scholar, I'd explain it to you, but I'm not. <laughs> so, um, Jacob loved Esau because of what could be done for him, for Jacob. It's contingent on what, on gratification. This is very normal love among humans. What can you do for me? And I love you because what you can do for me. Um, the love that uh, from mother to son is different. It's a real love, non-contingent. And that's the love that we need to develop for ourselves, the non-contingent love. And of course, for other people, especially among family, extended family, whatever it is good friends, non-contingent love. I just love you. And this is uh, not as easy as we think. Uh, I know that uh, in my own life, many people still judge me on the person I was. And they love me based on the person I was. And I do the same to them because they hurt me deeply. And it's really hard to say, oh, they've changed, even though that's how we're supposed to look at people. Oh, they've changed. Five minutes ago, they were a different person than they are now. Five seconds ago, they were a different person than they are now. I mean, maybe that's a little a bit of an exaggeration, but the truth is we really need to approach people that way and not so much just in that way of just thinking about it, but really in our emotions, in our being, we need to see that people are changing, they're improving, they're getting better, 
They have changed. They, they have improved. And it is easier said than done. Uh, and we can see the problems that it creates from the Torah portion um, for this week for in Toldot. And we can see how this would affect us negatively, you know, when people are stuck judging you from the past and you've really made some changes uh, and they're still stuck in the past, it's going to make problems and you have to find a way to work it out. You have to ask Hashem to help you work it out. And sometimes it's really hard because I, I know for myself, I try to make changes and I've tried to make improvements and I have. And then there are still so many ways that I've you people might say he hasn't changed one bit. He still has this problem and he still struggles with that. And, you know, he's been struggling with that his whole life and maybe it's never going to change. And I don't know. But if we can suspend those negative judgments, if we can look at people with a love that doesn't have conditions, and I'm not saying this is easy because we're really not trained that way, but if we can look at people with love that doesn't have conditions, unconditional positive regard for people, looking and looking for every improvement in someone then we will do well we will make